Might as well get it done. Okay, so hi everyone and welcome to another Mighty Ginkgo tutorial. My name is Zero and I'll be your instructor for this lesson. I'm coming to you live from my home world here in Space Russia. As you can see, we're experiencing beautiful spring-like weather. So I figured why not go outside and record a tutorial on this beautiful day. <laughs> if I can get myself to focus. Sorry, the camera keeps fogging up. So, yeah, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about hair. And I'm going to show you my method of making hair. Because there are so many different types of hair, you know, one style for every artist who creates it. It's almost impossible for me to say this is how you make hair because the way I do it is totally different from the way that somebody else does it. So I'm just going to show you my method of hair making and, you know, you can use that as a stepping stone to create your own style of hair. Now, I am um, basically... This is going to consist of, oh, sorry, I just kind of lost what I was doing there. I got lost in the mood. This beautiful spring weather. Okay, so this tutorial, you're going to need a couple products uh, in order to get the end result, you know, the materials for this class. Uh, one of them is going to be Vroid. We used that in the past, but we got better at it since we um, first did our tutorial. The second is Blender. And you can have Avastar if you want to or not. That's up to you, whichever you want to do. Um, what else do you need? Avastar, Blender. Uh, the kit that comes with this tutorial, it's got all the hair bases that I use, the hair textures, um, you know, stuff like that. So you can follow along. Something else it, it has. I just can't remember what. You know... Just download all the stuff that's inside the materials section and you should be fine. Now, like I, I should mention this right off the bat so you don't ask me in the comments. Um, let's see. What did I don't want you to ask me in the comments? One, can you make flexi hair? No, I can't make flexi hair. I don't know how to make flexi hair. I didn't know how to make flexi hair back when flexi hair was a thing. So if you want to make flexi hair, just go grab Hydra or with your favorite viewer and just do an XML copy. That's like basic number one so that's my solution if you want to ask me how to make flexi hair um can i make hair like xyz store probably not i don't know how people make their hair i only know how i make hair and you know that's that um i'm sure there's another question in here uh, how to make afros all right we studied a whole bunch of types of hair making and afros is one that came up during the live when we did a raw uh what do you call it uh raw raw dry a dry run of this tutorial and um yeah afros no go <laughs> we tried and it, it, it came out terrible we made one good afro but it was so high poly we had to upload it into parts in order to keep it from uh keep it to get it in world so i don't know how to make afros you're on your own with that one i think that pretty much covers everything no i didn't give a proper list all right proper material list while I still have some brain function left. All right, so you need Blender. I'm going to be using Blender 2.79 in this case. I'm not sure if it'll work in any of the newer ones, but I don't see why I couldn't. We're also going to be using the Cats plugin in order to import our VRM format um, into Blender. The tutorial kit, the kit files, with all the textures and stuff like that to help, you know, get you guys started in here. Um, texture kit, cats, uh, and Vroid, the program we're going to use to actually make our clothes, our clothes, I'm sorry, clothes, make our hair. So that's another program that you're going to use. Um, every, Everstar is also suggested, but not mandated, like required. If you have, uh, second life skeleton uh, like model then you should be fine whoops I keep losing myself in the camera stand still <laughs> um, let me see what else could we use um, 
you may also use a head. You need a head in order to tailor your hair to your head. And I suggest that you use the default roof one because that's like the standard head for um, basic heads in Second Life. It fits a large range of it. But if you have a designer head, like one of those fancy ones that look like monster high heads, it may not fit. So you are going to definitely need a head um for the body the you need a model of the head that you're trying to fit hair to but by default it is universally accepted to use the default roof medium si default roof and it's like a right in the middle head so yeah that i already uh, i should already warn you that i have no heads like no designer head so don't even ask me do you have the head for this one that one or the other one no i don't um and will this fit xyz head i don't know i don't own any designer heads so i can't tell you if it'll fit you'll just have to try it on there and then you know uh get the dev kit or create one using your current head that you're wearing and where you know put it in there and tailor hairs to it Okay, I think that covered everything. So that's the intro. Let's see, what do we need? Oh, it's also very strongly suggested that you have a graphics tablet. It is so much easier to use this if you have a graphics tablet and pen. And way easier than a mouse. But I think mine is on the fritz right now. So we're going to have to use a mouse. So I suffer for you. <laughs> it totally has nothing to do with the fact that I kept putting my coffee on top of my tablet. And now I don't want to run. <laughs> Alright, that's enough chat and enough zooming around in this crazy ass lighting. Let's go dive into the tutorial and make, you know, some hair. 